the brother asked the question that in my lecture I discovered, I discussed regarding one category which talks about Rajulani Tahabba Fillah. Ijtama'a alayh wa tafarraqa alayh. Wherein two people they love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they come together for this reason and they depart for this reason. Now, this category it is basically referring to friends. When a person chooses another friend, he chooses a friend who will draw him closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He chooses a friend on the basis of Islam. He chooses a friend because this friend is Islamic. So this is basically referring to choosing a friend who is Islamic. But natural if a person he is good to his wife and if he's Islamic with his wife, if he's kind with his wife, he will be rewarded. And if he is kind with his wife, he also can be shaded under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I have said in my talk, that it is not restricted only to these seven categories of people. But this category of two people loving each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is talking about friendship. But if a person is good to his wife, if he is kind to his wife, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah An-Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 19, that treat your woman with a footing of kindness and equity. And treat your woman with, woman with a footing of kindness and equity. So if a husband and wife, if they lead their life in an Islamic way, and if they encourage each other to get closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah they will be rewarded and we hope that inshallah they will also be shaded under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is not only restricted to these seven people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mercy, it is never restricted. And even his shade, it is never restricted. He is the Lord of the universe. He is our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how can his shade be restricted? But in this hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, he is emphasizing on these seven categories of people. In general, if we want to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want to enter the gardens of paradise, we should do all the things that are fard and abstain from all the things that are haram. And if we want higher levels of Jannah, if we want to enter Jannatul Firdaus, we should see to it that in addition to this, we try to do almost all the things that are mustahab and try to abstain from most of the things that are makru in Islam.